Hurry up! We don't want to be late for the Mega Institute Science Expo. And I've saved space on the trophy cabinet in case you girls win first prize. Again! Are you looking for your shoe, dear? No, Johnny! I can't find him anywhere! Oh, I think I saw him heading towards the girls' lab. He's in the lab? And to make the fine salsa, which we put on the nachos, which we put in our bellies, we must first put the ingredients in this big thing. Check me if I'm wrong, Johnny, but I don't think a nuclear cell splitter is the right way to make salsa. Sure it is. I just push this thing that says caw tea on and let there be salsa. Johnny, get out of the lab! We're gonna be late for that! Science Expo. And now, presenting last year's winners, the oh-so-sweet and gum-chewing Susan and Mary Tesht. Stop, stop licking me. Come on, you're covered in spicy salsa goodness. Presenting the electrochromatic blanket. <laughs> there is nothing there! You lose! You must have an experiment to qualify, and you... By bending light rays around its ultra-reflective material, it makes anyone or anything invisible. You win again! Yeah! Not so fast, Professor! For it is I, Blink Blink Boy, and I am the one who will win this expo! Presenting Repto Slicer, a major advancement in genetic reptilian pet evolution. Big deal, a lizard! Boo! <laughs> Eugene, you are disqualified. A, for not being an old, and B, the fact that your last genetic experiment ate my hand. Now get it out of here. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that. Back in your cage, little freaky one. Help! It's gonna eat us alive! Stand back. We'll stop it. Later. We'll stop it later. But first... I'm in trouble, aren't I? Repto Slicer is slicing and dicing up downtown Pork Belly. I'm okay. Stand down, Repto Slicer. We don't want to hurt you. That's not nice. And that's just rude. Don't panic. Now that we've thoroughly evaluated the enemy, we now will take the proper steps to capture the beast and return non-slicing beast to Pork Benny. You've got to help us. We can't stop this thing. There is no way I'm getting mixed up with anything to do with Eugene. Bling Bling Boy. He prefers to be called Bling Bling Boy. He made that very clear at the detention center. Besides, only the person who created such a monster would know how to defeat it. I'll stop him. Oh, please, how are you gonna stop him? Easy, cause it's time for the return of... Johnny X! Oh, and X Pooch! Please don't drag me into this. Johnny, you no longer have mutant powers, remember? We did neutralize his mutant powers, right? We did, I know we did. <laughs> oh, right. We forgot about the power boots. We'll stop that shredding menace to society! No way. I'm not going downtown only to get shredded by a cute yet razor-sharp lizard. I have a lot to live for, Johnny, and... Stop your blabbing and just tell me how many steaks it'll cost. Four. And I want a chew toy. Wait! Now have your own hurricane hands and shape-shifting powers, too. Oh, and here. It's our electrochromatic blanket. It will allow you to sneak up on Repto Slicer. Cool! Bye. Why did you give him all that stuff? If something happens to Johnny, we would have no little brother. Oh, that's sweet. To test all our dangerous experiments on. Good point. Your flying still stinks. Now get me down to Repto Slicer. <laughs> enough, Repto Slicer. You've done enough damage to our fine city, and it's time I stop you with my hurricane hand! I'm not sure
Your hurricane hands are your best feature. Try the power poots and melt that bad boy! I'm part poodle. And we're giving up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have good news and bad news. The good news is Bling Bling Boy has agreed to disclose Repto Slicer's weakness and how we can defeat him. What's the bad news? He'll only tell us if he gets a smooch from Susan. No way. And nothing will change my mind. <laughs> Okay, I'll help. Run! Yes, it's my third time in the facility this year, but on the upside, I'm making friends. Yo, Tiny! <laughs> my man. <laughs> See? Do we have a deal or nut? Yes. And now, Susan, do you have my smooch? Let's just get it over with. <laughs> I finally got a kiss from Susan Tess. Now, how do I stop Repto Slicer? Oh, I have no idea. Surprise! You see, I just said that to get a kiss from Susan, and it worked. It worked! And surprise back, you kissed a Susan bot. Hmm, clever. I thought your smooch was a little metallic. But that's not all. Hey, I have the same bikini at home. I'm sorry I created Repto Slicer. I just thought I wanted a pet like the younger Flaming Headed Test. You could have just gone to the pound and gotten a dog, you know. Yes, but I really wanted something evil with sharp rotating blades, and I did everything that a good pet owner should have done. I put it in a cage, kept it in a nice dark closet, barely fed it, never changed the paper. What? Did you ever take Repto Slicer out for a walk or to the park or give it a cup of coffee? <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course not. It's inconsistent over one million rotating spikes. Hello? <laughs> There's no way I can stop it. But Johnny X can. Come on! <laughs> hey, it's the kid with the silly costume but awesome powers that are almost as destructive as Repto Slicer. How will he try to stop Repto Slicer this time? Does he have a new power, or will he try that flaming thing with his backside? No, I will use this! A ball? You gotta be kidding! Come here, boy. Get the ball. Get it! Good boy. Now fetch a stick. Hey, that's my stick, and I refuse to share it. Throw it to him. No! <laughs> Slicer, my new well-trained pet, I've come to take you home. Come here, boy. I'm out of here. Take me back. Take me back. <laughs> He's crazy. Good, Repto Slicer. Good boy. Aw, Repto Slicer is actually kind of sweet. Yeah, but how are we going to keep a slicing, shredding pet happy and active, huh? Oh, there's nothing I love more than the family sitting down for a nice dinner. And nothing goes better with dinner than nachos. Oh, but honey, there's no salsa. Don't worry, Mom. I'm on it. Repto Slicer, do your thing. It's crazy, but that does make a great salsa. Now, if you could only heat up our steak. Oh, I can take care of that, Dad. He's got a blow! Johnny!
Hey, Johnny. Come on, give it a little juice, muchacho. We're gonna miss the movie. <laughs> Just gotta get up this hill. Oh, oh so, so close. close. Ah! I need a more powerful scooter, or I will die. Look, oh, oh. I'm dying of lame old scooteritis. Oh. Oh. Johnny, your father and I wanted you to have the safest scooter a clearance sale could buy, and that's why we got you the super lame old slow-mo scooter. But really great performance, son. Your acting is getting quite good. Johnny, you want to test drive a new, uh, Sonic Super Scooter we're developing? Yes, yes, yes! Wait, what's the catch? There's no catch. Liar! It's just a normal scooter. Fused with a hypersonic scramjet engine. Oh, I'm gonna call you Scoots. I love you, Scoots. But it's a speed demon, Johnny. Are you sure you can handle it? Are you kidding? Could I handle the turbo action backpack? Not really. What about the turbo time rewinder? Mm -mm. Just give me Scoots. Wait, Johnny, whatever you do, do not touch the Mach 9 setting. It's not ready for testing, okay? Yep, laters. <laughs> How long before Johnny tests out Mach 9? Two, three minutes tops. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as Johnny Test jumps over 13 massive dump trucks on his supersonic scooter. Captain, do we have clearance? No. And remember, your sister said not to test the Mach 9 setting. Right. Why do I even bother? Ah! Hey, you kids! No dangerous jumping on school property! Here we go! It's like a deserty post-apocalyptic pork belly. Read all about it. Read all about it. Would you like to purchase today's edition? Ten years later, remembering the global electromagnetic ripple and the pork belly wide havoc it wreaked, Johnny Test and his ugly dog still at large. What? You are not that ugly. Johnny, don't you get it? We've traveled into the future, destroyed it, and now we're wanted fugitives. Say what? It's them! The ones who cause pork belly to look like this! You're smart. What's going on? Uh, from what I can gather, we crossed the time-space continuum and set pork belly into an alternative future that includes dusty landscapes and causes people to dress really, really badly. Don't move! And now I suggest we... Hop on scoots! Hang on! Not again. The wall is on the fritz again! <laughs> Great! We traveled further into the future! But hey, at least they fixed the whole ugly deserty thing. You're right! Hey, maybe we're not ultra wanted fugitives anymore! Still wanted, still wanted, still wanted. That, that would be a no. Johnny Test? Step off the scooter and put your hands in the air. All I wanted was a fast scooter. It was my sister's fault. They made Step me... Step away from the scooter. If I could go backwards in time, I would, and Johnny, I... that's it. Throw this baby in reverse. Right. If we go backwards, we'll go back in time. Let's go backwards. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Hey, look, we're back! In the future. Oh, goody, the cops got an upgrade. Johnny Test and Ugly Dog stand down. He's not that ugly, okay? Scots, he's gone! Um, run! Wait till I get a hold of your sisters. Well, 
Talk of two futuristic person finder. Find anyone. Find anyone. Find My anyone. My sisters. They can help us get home, and then I'll seek revenge. Susan and Mary Test, mad scientists currently residing at Pork Belly Maximum Security Nursing Home. Ooh, fun! How are we going to get into a maximum security nursing home? Yes, I'm here to see my good friends Susan and Mary Test. Oh, they don't have any friends. All they mumble about is someone called Gil. Gil, Gil, Gil. Yes, <clears throat> that's me. I'm Gil. I'm handsome. Three doors down on the left. Be on the lookout for these two fugitives from the past, Johnny Test and his ugly dog. I'm not that ugly. It's him. It's Johnny Test and the ugly dog. Gil? You. You did this. You made us the most wanted kid and ugly dog in the future. Nice to see you too, Johnny. And you could have said no to using the scooter. We didn't you? This is all your fault. All he wanted was a faster scooter, which you provided, and then it destroyed Pork Belly. It was a cruel trick. We were young. Johnny Test, we know you are in there. Come out with your hands up. All I did was ride a scooter. But you punctured the time-space continuum. And long story short, it caused global blackouts. They just want to stop you and lock you away for good before you cause another ripple. <laughs> Uh-oh! How do we get home? To the past, when you were young and not so gross and wrinkly. We have to get back to the lab! Your old lab? But the time scooter was destroyed and we're surrounded by robo-police and you have a plan. We'll modify your old lame slow-mo scooter and send you back to the past. But they're dating on us! Not for long! Whoa! Where did you get the hypersonic turbo wheelchairs? It's our old house! And our old wrinkly dad! Hey, it's the old lab! Wow, we sure had some wild experiments in here. Good times. Good times. Give up! We have you surrounded! Johnny! This is no time for a walk down memory lane! I just have to attach the engine to the scooter backwards to reverse the time effect. She gets tired real easy these days. Go, Johnny! Go! Johnny, your father and I wanted you to have the safest scooter a clearance sale could buy, and that's why we got you the Super Lamo Slow Mo Scooter. But really great performance, son. Your acting is getting quite good. Johnny, you want to test drive a new uh, Sonic Super Scooter we're developing? Uh, no. No? But it's really cool, and it's got this super fast Mach 9 speed that will make all the neighborhood kids jealous. The boy said no. Do you at least want some time to think about it? Oh, we had some time to think about it. A lot of time. And I'll stick with my lame-o slow-mo scooter. I'm not yours. Sometimes I can't figure out that boy and the ugly dog. I'm not that ugly! 